my hand across. That better not be real. Blow some bubbles and then magically grab one in the air. What? What did you just do? What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, oh magic! I am your host, Devin Era, and today I'm showing you 11 impossible magic tricks that you can do. And just like that, the card will magically change into the Nine of Hearts. But watch, we can also change it right back. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with my arm. I also have a cardboard box here on the table and a little handsaw right here. So check this out. I'm going to take my arm and I'm going to put it through the cardboard box just like this. All right, take the saw. Watch. Take the saw and cut the cardboard box in half just like so. Now look, I can separate the halves of the boxes and it looks like my arm is completely cut in half. I watch and slide them back together. Pull my arm out. Totally heal. I'll show you the secret right now. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. The secret to this one is really simple. So the box is special. You're gonna prepare it beforehand like this. Your first step for this one is to get a cardboard box and you want one that's kind of a tube shape like this and hollow inside so that your arm can slide through it. Your next step is to cut the box in half. The next step on the back of the boxes, that is the side that the audience does not see, you're going to cut out a gap on the back of each box. And then the other thing you need is an assistant below the table to act as your other hand. So when my hand goes in this side, it curves out the back like this, and their hand simultaneously comes out the other side of the box to look like my arm is all the way through. Then all you have to do is pull the two halves apart once you've sawed them. It creates an extremely convincing illusion that your arm is actually severed in half. You can then slide the boxes back together, and if you time it right, it looks like you're just sliding your hand right out of the box. Your arm is completely unharmed, and that is an amazing cut-in-half illusion that you can do at home with just a little setup. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you if you would place your hand Right there. Okay. okay. Yep, yep. Just more like boop, 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 and finger extended. Perfect. Just like that's that. That's not what you. Oh. So I have. Nope. <laughs> no. It's fine. Just come here real quick. Right. No. <laughs> Trust me. It's fine. Don't do it. Are you really doing that? Just watch. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm not down with that. Oh, don't. <laughs> And it looks What's like happening? the blade goes right through your finger. What's happening? Watch it, watch it, fine. You just pull it out, look, your finger's healed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, here is the secret behind this one. This is actually a really cool toy from Japan. This is what it is. It's a little utility knife, but it's got a cutout just like this. We actually showed a DIY version of how to make one of these in a previous video. This is the real deal. It's a real metal blade. It's completely dulled down, and it's got this half circle cutout right here so that it can fit over your finger just like that. It's actually a super rare item. This was really hard to find. This company in Japan actually makes real razor blades too like real utility knives just like these and they accidentally sent out real utility blades packaged as these fake ones so uh, I actually got my hands on a couple of the fake utility blades that they managed to produce before uh, this item was discontinued. Stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to give this one away which is indeed a fake one it's not a real one so there's no risk of getting cut. Stay tuned to the end if you want to win this super rare prank item it is up for grabs in our giveaway this week. The thing is pretty much self-working you do this and then you can pull it off like that and as you pull it off you kind of retract it back in and their finger is left completely unharmed. You can do this to yourself or you can do it to a spectator. It's a super fun magic prank gadget that you can carry around in your pocket. Okay, so I have a cool trick to show you with some bubbles. I have a little bubble, bubble wand. You like bubbles? Yes, I like bubbles too. So I'm gonna unscrew the cap here. Hold that for me. Okay, check this out. We take our bubbles like this. Blow a few in. Like that. Oh. Hi, baby. 
Here's the secret of pulling off this trick yourself. This is a kit, a complete kit that comes with everything you need to pull off this illusion. We have these available at EvanAaronTV.com if you want to pick one of these up. They are available starting today. It comes with this solid bubble that goes right in the bottom of this hollowed out tube. The bottom of the bubble solution is completely hollowed out so that it can hide the ball inside just like that. It also comes with a little container of bubble solution that you use to fill this top reservoir. So you fill that up, then you can take out your bubble wand, dip it in, and blow bubbles. As your audience is distracted by you blowing the bubbles, you're simply going to let off the pressure on the bottom of the tube like this. All you do is put pressure with your forefinger and thumb, and it will hold the ball inside. Then when you let off, the ball will drop out into your hand just like that. So you have it hidden inside from the beginning of the trick. You hold it in your hand just like this, blow some bubbles, and then you can just casually let it drop into your hand just like that. Then once you have the clear ball concealed in your hand, it's a simple move of just bringing it out into your fingers just like that as you reach forward and pop one of the bubbles. You want to try and pick a bubble that's about the same size as the ball. Then you can take it and drop it on the table to display that it's a solid ball and hand it out to your spectators for examination. I have a cool trick to show you with this glass. Check okay. that out for me. Normal glass, <laughs> right? Yeah. It is a genuine glass. So check it out. I'm going to take it in my hand right here. My hand goes like this. Watch on the count of three. You can see this happen. Okay. Ready? One, two, So all you need to pull off this trick is a sponge ball and a glass. If you don't have any sponge balls, these are a staple of any magician's arsenal. We have a four pack available at EvanAaronTV.com. If you want to get some, there's a link in the description of this video. So you're going to start off with the sponge ball pinch in a back palm position, just like this behind your hand. The glass is then going to go right there on your fingers, just like that. You want to position it right above the sponge ball, just like that. Now you can show this hand empty and then you're going to come behind the other hand and press up on that sponge ball, just like that. You can then put another finger on top of the cup here. Now once you're in this position, you can show this pretty much 360 degrees and they're not going to see that sponge ball at all. So now what you're going to do is a count of three and you're going to make the sponge ball appear inside. You're going to come up one, two, and then on three you're going to spread these fingers apart and let that other hand push that sponge ball right up into the cup just like that. And the big motion of your hands coming up and down is going to cover that small motion of the ball popping inside the cup and it really looks like it just magically appears. It looks totally impossible because the ball is appearing inside a space that seems totally closed off. It's a super easy illusion that you can pull off at home with just those sleight of hand skills and a little bit of practice. Where is my phone? <gasps> this, that better not be real. Is that my phone? Are you kidding me? Who would do that? Are you, why would you nail it with the tape? Really? <laughs> Wait, me? Okay, here's what you need to set this up. You're going to need a clear plastic cup like this, some scissors, a hot glue gun, you're going to need a carpentry nail that you can cut in half, and a foam. Your first step is to cut up some pieces of the plastic cup. Now that we have some cut up shards of the plastic of the cup, we're going to use these to look like the broken pieces of glass on the front of the foam. So you're only going to need the top half of the nail. You can also do this with a screw if you want to cut a screw in half. And you're just going to place it right here, but you're going to need a dab of hot glue to set it in place. Glue in the little pieces of plastic cup stuck in there, it really gives the illusion that you've just nailed your friend's phone to the table. Then you can set up a hidden camera and capture their reaction as they walk in the room and it looks like their phone has just been nailed to the table. But have no fear, you can just remove the nail from the phone and there's no damage whatsoever. Okay, check this out. I have a US dollar bill here and I have it clipped on my little alligator clip. Watch, I'm gonna take my lighter and see something kind of crazy happen. Watch, if I just light the corner of the bill, See, the entire thing turns into 10 dimes. Okay, here's what you need to set up this illusion at home. So you're going to need one of these. This is called a flash bill. This is not a real dollar bill. This is actually just a banknote printed on flash paper. You're also going to need just a piece of flash paper, a little bit smaller than the size of the bill. For those that don't know, flash paper is a special type of tissue paper that's soaked in flammable liquid and then dried so that when it lights on fire, it just disappears like that. We do have flash paper available at EvanAraTV.com if you want to pick some up. And you're going to need some number of coins and a 
glue stick. So here's how you set this up. You're going to flip the flash bill over like this. We're going to take our piece of flash paper and glue it on the sides and the bottom to create a little pocket on the back of the bill. And we're going to load it with the coin. In this case, I'm using 10 dimes because the money is a US dollar. So 10 dimes equal $1. So it's going to look like the dollar bill lights on fire and then magically turns into change. So all we're gonna do is pick it up by the edges like this. And then you're going to hold the corner over a flame. The flash paper will ignite. And as it burns across the bill, it will look like it is magically turning into money. This is a trick that I came up with myself. I have not seen it done anywhere else. So you can try that at home and rest assured no one else will have seen this before. It's super cool. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you with this candle. So we're gonna light it up. That. Now, here we go. I'm gonna try to do something with the candle using the power of our mind. So check this out. Just like that, you extinguish the candle's flame in your mind. I'll teach you how that's done right now. Okay, here is the secret of how to extinguish a candle with your mind. So this is actually an Evanera original here. This is a trick that I came up with. So all you need to pull this off is the apparatus from a squirting flower trick. This is a little bulb that's filled with water and has a tube and all I did was run it up the back of a candle just like this. You can see it's just taped in place there. You just want to keep that side pointed away from your audience so that they don't see it. The tube runs all the way up to the top of the candle right here at the top and when you squeeze this bulb it's just going to send some water right right up the top of the candle just like that. So this hand stays below the table and just gently squeezes and forces water up that tube. It's gonna gather in the top of the candle and just slowly extinguish the flame just like this until it slowly burns out and then you get this really nice wisp of smoke when it extinguishes. So people know that you're not blowing the candle out. The flame just slowly diminishes and it's a really nice touch if you kind of make it seem like you're squeezing it out slowly. Try it out at home and freak out your friends and family. Cool trick to show you with this coin, a little shot glass, and a playing card. I'm going to sit the playing card right here on top of the glass. The coin is then going to sit right on top of the card just like this. Now check this out. All I have to do is wave my hand across and it looks like the coin penetrates right through the card into the glass. All you need to pull off this trick is a glass, a coin, and a card, and this preparation. You're gonna take an X-Acto blade, it's a very sharp little razor knife, and you're just gonna take that utility blade and drag it right across the card just like this. Put a slice in the card, not right in the middle, because your coin is gonna sit right in the middle. And the back design of the card is gonna hide that cut really well. So we're gonna sit the coin right there, the glass goes underneath, and here's what's happening underneath the cover of our hand. So the coin is actually gonna go right into that slice lit right there and it's just gonna fall right down inside the glass just like that. So as my hand is contacting the top of that coin like that, it's gonna cause the card to kind of bend down and open up that gap just like that so that the coin can slide in and then your hand is gonna continue to contact it as it pushes it over and it slides into the glass just like that. Looks like it penetrates right through the card. It's also good to do this with a face card like this so you can flip it over and show the other side and the cut will be hidden by the design of the face card. Okay. Cool trick to show you. Will you please hand me that pile of paper clips? The hand, the whole thing? Mm hmm. Place them right there in my hand. And verify for this. Place them in there uh, one by one. Okay. Yeah. Green. Blue. You'll be like separate or just drop them on top of each other? Orange, that's fine. Okay. That many. All right, I'm right there. Yeah. Paper clips. <gasps> Don't do that. You did not just do that. Open your mouth. Mm. Why would you do that? Mm. What? Oh. <gasps> Shut. What? What did you just do? What did you just do? I don't want to touch it, but I can always <laughs> leave it. Pull it. Are you kidding me? Put this in your mouth. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you just the coolest thing I've seen you do? <laughs> By you. far.
That was amazing. I'll teach you how it's done and you. Now. Okay, here's what you need to pull this one off at home. This is a classic magic effect, but it's kind of adapted here for paper clips. I recommend using these little paper clips with the plastic coating on the outside. It's a little bit more gentle on your mouth than a standard metal paper clip. I also want to say there's a huge disclaimer on this trick. There's a possible choking hazard of putting these in your mouth. It is dangerous. There's definitely inherent danger with putting anything like this in your mouth. So perform this at your own risk. So you're going to start out with seven separate paper clips. You can use whatever number you want to use, but I found seven seven is a good number. So you have them all loose like this. And then you're also going to need the same seven paper clips, identical colors, but linked into a chain already. And here's how you're gonna set this up. You're gonna link them and then you're going to fold them up like this. So you're just gonna lay them on top of each other just like this and kind of line them up. And then you wanna leave the last one sticking out on the end just like that. This is the one that you're gonna grab and begin to pull. So here's what's happening inside your mouth. You're gonna tuck this into your cheek before the performance starts. And depending on the size of your mouth, you can still speak with this in your mouth pretty normally. So you've got this hidden in one cheek. You then take the pile of loose paper clips, have your spectator place them in your hand individually. This kind of uh, cements in their mind that the paper clips are not linked together in any way without you having to say it. Pop it into your mouth, and you're gonna tuck all of these into your opposite cheek. Then you want to do a little motion with your mouth, act like you're using your tongue to link them together. And then because you have this last paper clip sticking out the end here, you're going to slowly and dramatically begin pulling the paper clips out of your mouth. It looks totally unbelievable. It's like they have just linked inside your mouth. Super easy and amazing trick that you can pull off at home, but be extremely careful and do not swallow a paper clip. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and share it with someone who you think might enjoy it as well. Thanks for helping us spread the magic all over the world. Be sure to head over to Evan TV.com. That is our online shop. We have tons of really cool magic tricks like the Wonder Bubbles. The magic stretching bill trick is back in stock. We also have sponge balls available in packs of four if you want to perform the magic vanishing sponge ball trick or the appearing sponge ball in the glass trick that you saw in this video. You can pick up a pack of four sponge balls at EvanEraTV.com right now. So be sure to check out the link in the description of this video or at EvanEraTV.com. We have a lot of cool stuff and cool new items being added every week. All right, it is giveaway time. I am giving away all the magic props from this video. All you have to do to be eligible for the giveaway is hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be randomly selecting comments from the comment section, so the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning. So we'll be picking 11 comments from the comment section and mailing you the magic so you can perform these amazing tricks at home. Alright, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Please send an email with your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. If you're new to our show, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. You can also check out more episodes of How To Magic below. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.